Hey there, this is Gaurav, welcome back with another video. So I have seen many of my friends, my colleagues, they are doing one mistake. Like they are saying authentication when they should say authorization and they are saying authorization when they should say authentication. So basically they are very confused about this two term, authentication and authorization. Okay, let me be very honest with you, I have done the same mistake as well, okay. So that's why I have decided, let's create a video on it. Let's discuss about it. Like what is authentication? What is authorization? What is the difference between it? So in this video, I'm going to tell you about authentication and authorization in a very simple example with a real life analogy and with animation. Okay. So I can guarantee that if you watch this video till the end in your life, in future, you will never, ever, ever do the mistake which I have done. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so now let's talk about authentication here. Okay, let me give you a very simple real life analogy so that each and everyone can relate with it. Okay, let's talk about a country. Let's talk about India here. So we all are basically living in India, right? So I can say we all are citizens in India. Okay. Now, in order to be part of India, we have to have some kind of unique ID, right? Like we have PAN card, voter card, other card, passport and so on. Okay. So these all are nothing but your identity. Okay. Now you will ask me like, why do we need this kind of identity? See, this is just because only with your name, it is not possible to identify you uniquely because we can have um, multiple person having same name, right? The main reason of having this kind of ID or identity is whenever you would like to do anything in this country or whenever you would like to get any kind of access from this country, the first step would be you have to show this kind of ID, okay? So that they can easily understand that you are the right person who is claiming for, like they can understand who you are, okay? Now, once it is verified, okay then you are good to go okay now you know the same thing is basically happening for an application as well so if i talk about uh, facebook here in facebook instead of having citizens here we have users okay so the first step here is you have to first register yourself uh, that is also called sign up process in order to be part of this application okay so here you have to provide some kind of uh, information like some input and based on that, some unique ID will be created for you, like uh, username, uh, like password, email ID, mobile number. Now, in other way, I also can say like you got the citizenship for this country, like for this application in order to be part of this application. Okay. So after that, there is a process called login where you have to show your identity, like username, user ID, password, etc. So that Facebook can easily understand who you are. Like whether you are the right person who is claiming for or not okay now once it is verified then i can say you have successfully authenticated in this application like in facebook okay now this entire process like starting from showing your identity to verifying your identity whether you are an authenticate user for this application or not this entire process is called authentication okay i hope it makes sense right so authentication is nothing but a process of verifying the identity of a user whether he or she is the right person or not who is claiming for okay now once it is done then it, it can allow you to access the application so i hope authentication is crystal clear to you now okay now let's talk about authorization let's see what is it okay so now let's take the same example in case of authorization as well okay now let's consider about one country let's say india so we all are basically citizen in India, right? We all are living in India, but we all are not same. How? Like we can have a doctor, we can have a policeman, we can have a soldier, engineer and so on. Okay. So what I'm trying to say, like what a doctor can do, a policeman cannot do, right? What a policeman can do, a doctor cannot do, like a policeman cannot do a surgery, right? So this is just because they all have different kind of role, different kind of a license. Okay. So even though they have their unique identity, even though they all are citizen in India, even though they all are living in India, but that doesn't mean they can do anything. Okay. The same thing is happening for your application as well. Like in application also, we have a number of users, right? So basically here we have a different grade of users. 
like we can have admin user we can have guest user we can have vip user we can have normal user and so on okay so they all have different kind of role they all have different kind of privilege okay and they can access this application based on their role okay so let me give you a very simple real life example of guest user okay so so that you all can relate with it so do you know about hotstar application right so we all have seen ipl match in hotstar application right so those of you don't have like a membership or subscription in hotstar they are allowed to see only for five minute in every day okay so they cannot see for more than five minute this is just because you are a guest user so depending upon your role or privilege you are allowed to access the application okay so if i talk about admin user then admin user will have almost maximum privilege okay maximum access to that application so similarly here even though all the users are authentic user even though all the users have authenticated in that application successfully but that doesn't mean that they can do anything in their application it is depending on the access or privileges that is given to that user okay so this is called authorization like what you can do so authorization is nothing but a process of specifying access rights or privileges to the resources okay so if i have to differentiate both like authentication and authorization in one single statement then i would say it as authentication is about who you are okay it is the process of verifying about who you are whereas authorization is what you can do okay like it's about role it's about uh, the privileges that you have okay so let me show you one statement you just read it and try to understand does it mean any sense to you or not okay and the statement is user is authenticated but not authorized to access something okay does it make sense to you because we already know about authentication and authorization in this stage okay so it is just mean user is authenticated means i am the citizen in india like i have unique identity okay and i have shown my identity and it is verified okay but it doesn't mean i can do anything it doesn't mean i can do any surgery it doesn't mean i can arrest someone okay it depends on my authorization like what role i have what privileges that i have okay so that is what it is saying user is authenticated but not authorized to do something okay not authorized to access something in application so it is a very valid statement from this point of view so i hope now authentication and authorization this two term is very very clear to you okay so even after this in future if you do any kind of mistake and somehow i get to know about it i will find you and i will kill you yes i will kill you anyway i'm just kidding okay don't take it seriously okay okay so i hope you enjoyed this session thank you for watching uh, if you have any doubt any queries in this video let me know by giving a comment in the comment section for more video you can follow my channel okay so then thanks for watching take care tata bye bye